purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to spread the wings of a butterfly or moth. First, take your spreading board and adjust the width of the opening so that the body of the moth or butterfly you are pinning and spreading will fit inside. Some boards may not be adjustable. Next, take the moth and place it into the center and push in the pin until the base of the wings are level with the spreading board. This may take some adjustment. Next, you will need to cut yourself two pieces of paper. I like to cut mine wide enough to cover the entire outside edge of the wing, and so I'm going to cut two pieces, one for each side, from a strip of paper. Next, take your piece of paper, get it ready, and then take pins that are long enough to hold the specimen in place. Sometimes when pulling on the wings, it will like to rotate. This will keep the body of the moth from rotation. Then, take a pin and along the edge of one of the wing veins, pull the wing forward. Start with the front wing, followed by the hind wing. You can push the pins in to keep them in place. Once you have one first side done, then move on to the second side, starting with the front wing and then the hind wing. When finished pinning the wings in place, take a pin and make sure that the edges of the wings form a straight line across the body. Then place the piece of paper that you've been holding onto the top of the wings, hold it in place with your fingers, and then begin to pin it in place at the top. Once you have the top wing secure, make sure it is secure, you can then work on the bottom wing. Sometimes the wings will slip while doing this. You can always move them back forward before pinning the bottom of the paper. The idea of the placement of the paper is always to put it so that the edges of the wings are covered, so that while they're drying, you don't have them curling up. Repeat this process on the other side. Next thing that you will want to do is to remove the pins that you put in place to hold the body. And you can use them to adjust the antenna so that they look as natural as possible. One may be needed for each side. Then step back and inspect your finished product. 